Greetings. This video is about the general description of the graphical user interface of the uh, Mine Expert program of the MS Expert Suite uh, software project. Let's start Mine Expert. And what you can see is that this console window you can put down. The program starts with this main window. That is the main window of the program. If we load a data file, let's open a mobility mass spectrometry data file. The, the loading process is displayed here. This window we will explain later. The program shows a color map. It shows a MZ integration parameters window that will display that will explain later but it doesn't show something very important we can show it now that is the total ion current chromatogram each time a new file is opened the tick chromatogram gets computed and displayed in this window this and this one for ion mobility uh, data are both the starting points for a new mine, data mining session. When integrating data to a mass spectrum, we will expect a mass spectrum to show uh, somewhere. At the moment, the window does not show up, but we can ask it to show. And here it is. Let's do another integration of a smaller region. For example, here, let's integrate this region. It integrates and displays the data in this window. For, for ion mobility mass spectrometry data, you can also ask for a drift spectrum. Let's integrate all this to a drift spectrum. The drift spectrum doesn't show up for the moment, but we can ask it to show it to show up in the drift spectrum window. There we are. So we have so now we have four data displaying windows. The total ion current chromatogram window, the mass spectrum window, the color map window for ion mobility mass spectrometry data and the drift spectrum window also for ion mobility mass spectrometry data. These are the four main windows that display data. There are other windows which are very useful. For example, the console window, which I always put down here, displays informational data about the various actions that are being carried over. For example, this file was loaded and we have a set of statistics about the data in the file. Very useful stuff here. And then we know that we have done loading file we are calculating the color map and so on and so on. These are informational uh, uh, data that display automatically in the console window. There are also other windows. For example, there is the window that displays all the open mass data files. Let's open a series of very small files. I uh, can load them from here. For example, let's open this set of mass spectra. These are single mass spectrum files. As you can see, each time a new mass spectrum or mass data file is loaded, it has a different color so that we can track the history of the various files. For example, here, if I do integrate that spectrum file, 
into a mass spectrum, I will have a corresponding color here. Green, green. There we are. Another integration from this file, it will provide a trace with the same color. So this is called the root widget and these the descendant widgets. Any descendant widget must have a root widget. If we remove the root widgets, we actually close the files. For example, if I uh, select this file here, this tick chromatogram, and uh, push the uh, delete, uh, not the backspace, but the delete uh, uh, keyboard key, I just remove the file and thus also the descendant widgets. For example, remove this and this one will be removed along. Look, remove and it's gone. We'll remove these. And you see that all the files are listed here. Let's remove the, the, the blue one, this one, and you'll see that this item will disappear. It's gone. So let's start fresh with the new uh, setup here. And I've, um, I've loaded a, an ion mobility mass spectrometry experiment and the uh, total ion current chromatogram has been computed and displayed in the tick chromatogram window. And since it's a drift uh, mobility, uh, an ion mobility mass spectrometry experiment, the color map showing the various mass spectra as a function of drift time has also been computed. What I wanted to show here is the general anatomy of these three windows. The tick chromatogram window, the mass spectrum window, and the drift spectrum window. They all three have a slider, as you can see, that divides the window up and down in two parts. If I now open another mass spectrum, I will open a simple mass spectrum, for example this one, I see that a new widget shows a tick chromatogram that has been computed for the new file that was loaded. Since this is a very single mass spectrometer file, there is a fake tick chromatogram. Let's integrate this to a mass spectrum. There. And let's also integrate this to a mass spectrum. There. What we see is that each time an integration is performed to a mass spectrum, a new widget displays it. I could integrate a second time a smaller region here and that would show a new widget with the results of the second integration for the red file. Since this is an ion mobility mass spectrometry experiment, I can ask an integration to a drift spectrum that shows up here. This one is a single mass spectrum, it has no drift data. Let's try anyway. Nothing happens. No widget is displayed because there are no ion mobility data in this file. What is interesting with the fact that we have divisions here is that when the files are similar, we can have them overlaid. Or when we perform various integrations, they are overlaid. Here in the lower part, each trace has its own widget. 
in the upper part there is a single widget that is a multi-graph widget and these are single graph widgets. This is particularly interesting when the data are to be compared for various, uh, for various files. Let's try to open some files that will be more interesting to match. Let me see. This one, this one, this one, for example. Integrate these to MassPec entities. Remove these ones. And we now have these. As you can see, it is very interesting to be able to compare various traces. We see, for example, here that the upper part of the, of the window displays overlaid spectra, which allows for spectra to be compared pretty easily. It's evident here that the blue trace has not the data that the green or the yellow trace have. Here, it's the reverse. The blue trace has much higher peaks than the yellow and green traces. So the fact that we can display overlaid spectra here and singly displayed spectra here is extremely helpful. We can at any time hide by pressing the H key a given trace. Hide the cyan trace, it goes away. Hide the blue trace, let's find a place where it's more easily visible. Hide the blue trace it goes away. So these are very useful data representations and, and these representations are available for any of the three tick chromatogram, mass spectrum and drift spectrum windows.